purpose, prestige, honor, commitment. A lot of people join the military to do something with their lives, something bigger than themselves. But when their military career comes to an end, finding a similar sense of direction and esteem in the civilian world can be daunting to say the least. But there's a place in Hyde Park, New York, that's been serving up one of the most prestigious senses of purpose in the world since 1946. And guess what? It's gourmet. An army marches on its stomach, but the military ration has never tasted this good. I'm August Dinell. I'm a chef and Navy veteran. Follow me around the world as I uncover some of the most compelling and covert food operations around. These aren't your grandfather's war stories. This is Meals Ready to Eat. In military boot camp, we learn the essentials of surviving combat. We realize the power of unity and the importance of following orders. There's a mission, and we stop at nothing to get it done as effectively and efficiently as possible. The professional kitchen is no different, and here at the Culinary Institute of America, better known as CIA, there's nothing less than excellence when it comes to this most prestigious school. Student chefs enroll to master kitchen techniques and study under some of the most well-traveled and brilliant chefs in the world. They teach a discipline here reminiscent of the military. It's culinary education at the highest level. CIA was actually created to educate veterans coming back from World War II. You've got a lot of veterans with military skills, but no job skills. And in 1946, we were created to educate veterans in cooking. I think folks from the military have one basic advantage already. They're more disciplined, they're more mature, and they come here for a purpose. You know, you've got a, someone who's spent typically a great deal of time being organized and, and regimented, and cooking is regimented, it's organized, and it's easy for a veteran to come into this environment and want to do better, and you can see, you know, how to progress and achieve higher goals. And this profession allows for a lot of that. You know, when they come in on day number one, they look at me, and that reminds me of deer looking at my headlights. But when they're finished here, just like a boot camp, chest high, they start marching, they no longer mosey around. There, there's a sense of urgency there, there, there's a sense of belonging. They know what they're doing, and you can see them walking through the halls with a sense of pride, and that's what we're trying to develop here. Casey Troutman served as a communications specialist in the United States Army, did a year-long deployment in Afghanistan, and is now a third-year student here at CIA. Casey is rapidly approaching the culmination of his training and transition into the professional culinary world. With a recent internship at the Three Michelin Star Restaurant, 11 Madison Park, Casey is already harnessing the values he learned in the military and here at CIA and applying them to his work in the kitchen. Deb Dexter served 26 years in the United States Air Force and recently retired as Lieutenant Colonel. Now, with a history of holding exorbitant amounts of responsibility, Deb is seeking a career that can marry her mastery and decision-making with her affinity for artistic expression. While I was getting ready thinking about retirement, I was trying to figure out how can I continue to give back to my country? How can I continue to make uh, a difference? A lot of veterans get out and they, they don't know what their direction is, you know? It's not easy to transition to find that fulfillment. I think that is really hard for most of us. Even though we're not wearing the uniform, we're craving and we want that next step in our life where I'm waking up tomorrow morning, how am I making a difference? Where am I contributing? Who am I affecting? And for me, I've already had two jobs and here I am. And I'm hoping that this path that I'm taking, I'm hoping that I am able to make a difference with veterans. I think a lot of veterans get out and they're searching to find that kind of intense sense of purpose and drive that we have in the military. And, and something about CIA embodies that. And, and the pride that you take, the uniform, uh, and, and the skill set. You weren't a cook in the, in the Air Force. No, I wasn't. My, uh, my career field was acquisition and space ops. I kind of joke with some of the students that I'm really an airman basic. You know, like my rank is irrelevant and I'm starting off as the one striper who's just constantly trying to learn and catch up. Only the teacher is addressed as chef. It takes dedication, passion, and countless hours of refining technique and culinary knowledge to earn the title of chef. It's a process not unlike that of achieving rank in the military, 
there's definitely like a rank structure where instead of having a squad leader and a platoon sergeant, maybe you have like a sous chef and like the executive chef. It, it kind of like mirrors the, the, the prestige of like a general leading his army, you know. If it feels like you're on this kind of team and you're being led into a certain direction. The service industry and, and cooking specifically, I think that a lot of times it's about doing something nice and doing something well for someone else. I think that's really important. I think that's actually one of the most important things about uh, what we do here. I mean, for me, just coming into a kitchen every day and practicing the same skill set over and over and over again, just trying to get one step closer to unattainable perfection. But then by the end, like, you're excellent at it. And I think that that's one of the reasons why I came here, is I think that, that every day you actually are cooking. Every day, you know, you get um, actual experience with all these different ingredients. It's not just, you know, theory. The CIA curriculum culminates with a tenure in one of the campus's five working restaurants open to the public. A busy lunch service is like battle, bringing the line of culinary warriors together in their mission of delivering well-timed and delicious plates of food. The prestige of this fine French restaurant demands the respect, dedication, and artisan craft taught at CIA, a set of values essential to the purpose we seek after leaving the military. These values are refined, strengthened, and heightened at CIA. The warfighter and the gourmet chef both share a unique need for greatness. Subpar performance is simply unacceptable. Whether prior military or not, training here prepares students to not only feed the masses, but also to enlighten and captivate with the power of food.